Hello and welcome back to my YouTube where today we'll be doing a full day of eating. That's right, you'll see me eat all my food <laughs> like a good boy. Okay, so we're doing a full day of eating today. This is my training day foods. Of course, I said a couple of videos ago, I'm working with Tom Hames now as my coach. He's taking over my nutrition and also PEDs. Somewhere on the screen is going to be the macros for today. Somewhere. Um, I'm currently doing the training. I've been given a meal plan from Tom, and this is the first time I've had a meal plan in fucking years. This is crazy. And also, there's a different approach to the nutrition as well. So, you'll see from the macros that the protein's higher than I would usually have it. It's quite high. So, I would usually have it at around about 250 grams, maybe push up to 270, but we're, we're pretty much roughly around 400 grams, which is uh, higher than it's been before, but this is not strange out there approach. A lot of great coaches will prescribe high protein for uh, great athletes. For example, Chad Nichols with Ronnie Coleman, he was on like 600 grams of protein, I believe. There's many, many, many other coaches up there. So, it's a way to try it out and we'll see what the crack is in regards to that. So, we're starting the day with the AM supplements. It's Telemassan, which is for the uh, blood pressure. Obviously, when you're pushing up, getting big and heavy and using a couple of steroids along the way, blood pressure is going to be something to keep an eye on. Support Max, which is on cycle support. And it's got a bunch of ingredients to help keep your blood in a good place. So your blood panel things more in range. It stops them from getting ski with. We've got the stragglers here. And this it will help support a good immune system. And finally, JP's Omega Pharma Pro. Uh, these are essentially Omega 3s and these will help in regards to your HDL. It's in your HDL, which is your good cholesterol, and that will help keep your LDL, your bad cholesterol, low. So it's good for your lipid profile. Again, when you are a cis, you use PEDs. These are great to use, but if you're not, they're still really, really good to use anyway. Decent Omegas as well, because you can get shit Omegas. That was a two gulper. First meal of the day. This is a tradition for me. It has been for fucking years now. It's a cream of rice. No matter how many fucking cream of rice tutorials there are on this planet, people still ask, how do you make cream of rice? So I use a JP's cream of rice. All the supplements that I mentioned, by the way, you can get from the Titan store. They're great because they have different brands and they have the best of those brands. And obviously you get money off Jack or 10. Cheeky plug. It's legit fucking awesome to be honest. I use JP's because it's important. The branding of the cream of rice is important because a lot of people say I hate cream of rice. And I say to you, you're not fucking cooking it right. This one in particular, the mixability is also great. I find if you fuck it up and it gets to the point where it's lumpy, you can recover it a lot easier with this. Yeah, we've got 150 grams of this motherfucker going in. I literally checked in yesterday uh, with Tom and the past couple of weeks we've been escalating food quite a bit as well from week to week. And this is just meal one of six. So I'm on six meals a day. It's important, the ratios of, of cream of rice and water. So I put some hot water in to aim for around about 500. That's not bad from I. If you have the same amount of ratios, then it's gonna be easier to fucking cook because then you'll know how long to put it in the microwave, yada, yada, yada. That's the thing, you'll notice I'm using a fork, a little bit easier to, it's, it's almost like whisking it. So I'm gonna give it a nice stir first. Whack it in. When it gets to a proper, uh, to a certain thickness, it's every 30 seconds from that. At the six meals a day, uh, it's something, again, that I haven't actually done 
since I first started bodybuilding, 18, I was on six meals a day. Um, that was from my first coach, and then eventually I moved to like four when I was doing it myself, and they were just four big fuck off meals in the off season, but it was very convenient in regards to cooking time and just trying to fit it around the rest of my day. But the advantages to six meals a day is they are separated, so you know, it's gonna be a little bit easier on the digestion. I think that's important as well with the amount of protein that I'm on. Because with it being close to 400, you don't want to have like 100 grams of protein per meal. Protein is quite harsh on the digestion anyway. If you can break that up, you'll give yourself an easier time. Already, already we've got a little bit of thickness. Again, this is made quicker by having some warm water put in it. Fuck me, has this just cooked in 30 seconds? You might be thinking, you might be looking at this and think, fuck, that looks disgusting. And you are right. But this is what I mean by you can really recover this shit quite easily. I am trying to overcook it on purpose because I am using an isolate and isolates will commonly just make whatever you're cooking runnier. Obviously the protein isolate is on the plan. Great for digestion, very high quality protein. You'll get a lot of protein powders, which will be whey, but they'll have a lot of milk protein in, whereas this is obviously isolated. Cool, look at that. Fuck me. Mix it. You will gain, you'll gain your own intuition with it. It depends on the protein that you have. If you've got like performed protein, it won't really change the consistency too much, so you don't need to overcook it. So the berries have to go in first after it's been cooked. Because I use frozen berries, one the cheaper, and two I find the nicer. So I'm gonna unfreeze the berries whilst cooling down the cream of rice. Next up, I'm gonna fucking whack in the protein, man. You know, 50 grams of this motherfucker. Got cookies and cream, isolate. How do I get my cream of rice so shiny? So I've never been asked that question before. I just thought, I didn't know that was an appealing thing to try and strive for with cream of rice. Just a touch runnier than I would like it. Adding salt. This shit gets added to every meal. So we've got a good amount of sodium in. Sodium is part of your electrolyte balance. Very important to have. It's very important so you don't cramp the fuck up when you're training or just th through the day. When you're training really fucking hard and you are assisted, you will need more sodium than the average person. Honey, runny honey, 25 grams of this. Boom, we fucking smashed it. That's how you make cream of rice with isolate as well, which is harder to nail the consistency, it really fucking is. I really want you to appreci appreciate my geniusness. I am superior to every other tutorial that you've ever seen. Yeah, cool, I'm gonna whack this in me. And then we're gonna get ready for the gym. We'll start with the intro workout, the pre-workouts and shit. Then we'll be getting ready for the, a sexy push session. Cool, I've got everything I need. Everything I fucking need for a brilliant workout. Nova pump. This is uh, obviously gonna help me become a pumped up youth. Fucking bags. When you get to the end of a tub, a little sack of bullshit here stop you from getting a full scoop. It's the most frustrating shit ever. So one scoop of this is classed as like a double scoop. Obviously we're double scooping because it's posh day. We need to get a good pump. Christopher's secret stuff. I had this pre-sent out to me by the Titan store. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's obviously C-bomb stuff. Oh, well, okay, cool, give it a go. It turns out to be one of the greatest pre-workouts I've ever had in my fucking life. It, like it's two scooper for a full big serving. It's got a nice blend of energy, focus, pump, yada, yada, yada. And uh, you don't really crash from it, but you just feel good. Like, I feel good for the rest of the day after taking this. Like, this is some good shit. I'll just add like a little slither more. Well, nothing more than that, yeah? We don't want to over-fucking do it, okay? All right? Too many stems will kill you. It'll blow your dick off. I've just added, accidentally, a little bit of warm water from the cream of rice into this drink. It's going to be gross. Anyway, there's an intro workout. Serving of EAAs, the brand of it is raw, but I'll be honest with you, man. As long as it's got a good dosage of EAAs, the branding's not heavily important. 
you just don't want to you just want to avoid a product that's BCAA only because the EAAs is the shit that that really counts some creatine creatine is great you can use it whenever whether you're dieting pushing up and it will just help just get that extra one or two reps out and it just gives that 0.1% more really Let's go to the fucking gym. It was a good session, great push session. Um, we're on to meal two, meal two, which is fucked, right? I've got five meals left. <laughs> it always feels like I'm playing catch up after my sessions. So let's get straight to it. The, the good thing is the next meal's a very quick meal to make. Uh, is a classic post-workout meal, and that is 150 grams of Cocoa Pops and 50 grams of whey. A little bit of almond milk to uh, just to add to the taste. That's not good, is it? Got any in here? Looks like this is gonna be a war tree post-workout. <laughs> yeah, I'll do, I'll do. The great thing about this is, my calories have been up to quite a bit the past couple of weeks. About 4,500. You're fucking nice and hungry as well. My appetite drops at a certain weight, a certain amount of calories as well, which is about 5,000 calories. So about a few pounds heavier than I am now. <laughs> so, hopefully, the end isn't nigh very quickly. We'll see. We'll see if I can exceed up to like 6K calories and still feel relatively okay. Oh yeah, look at it. It's like an M&S advert. Mm. One thing is missing. Gold. Yeah, even on cereal, guys, I'm adding a bit of salt. And people are like, yo, that's fucking crazy. Try it. It's actually not too bad. It's actually nice. You'll notice I'm using the same bowl for a lot of this shit. This has been my bowl for years now it's literally about six years I had the same bowl and i've ate out of it it's like the perfect bowl if anything was to happen to this bowl i'll never get over it mm. hello how's it going we're back for the third meal of the day this is a very fucking bro as he comes this next meal Chicken and rice and veg. Pretty much mainly, you know, with a few additional shit, which you will see. It's 150 grams of rice. As you can see here, I've got like a big fuck off pack of rice. It's five kilo from Lidl. I think it was about five quid, which is fantastic. Obviously I'm eating so much fucking rice. This makes sense. And if you're on a meal plan, and you're a bodybuilder, anything that isn't fresh, bulk buy that shit if you can. You'll save yourself money and trips to the shop as well. Most of the meals I would just be filming today, I just can't actually get it bob on. Usually I'm quite good at getting it bob on, but at the moment I'm not getting it bob on and that is disrupting my piece. There's definitely not insulin and growth hormone here, but look how healthy I am. I've got loads of fruit and veg and good meat. Not steroids at all. 175 grams of chicken titties. Let's 
too aggressive. I'm so fueled up from my session, and I'm just like fuming. There's too much testosterone going through my fucking veins. Ugh, I can't find my fucking knife either. Ugh. A hobby of mine is loading the dishwasher, not turning it on, and then me taking shit out of the dishwasher and washing it because it's not been fucking cleaned. How close this is to 175? 178. It's not bad. Check that, that's three grams of chicken. I'm pissed off at this chicken. <laughs> I'm so not vegan, mate. Like fucking, I want to kill it again. I've just got this fucking chicken bogey on me. It adds like a fucking KFC vibe to the chicken, it's the pepper in it, but it's garlic pepper. Add a bit of barbecue to this as well. And just a touch of time, just a touch. fryer and this is a fucking beast nine liter motherfucker dual air fryer uh it's a ninja ninjas are fucking sick any advice to bodybuilders out there get yourself a rice cooker get yourself an air fryer and your life will become so much simpler you want to be able to cook efficiently especially if you're eating a lot of fucking food a lot of fucking meals save you cut down the prep time lovely lovely and go Sick. Part of my meal is an apple. I'll just eat it whilst it's cooking. It's nice on its own, it's cool. To be honest, since this meal plan, it's been years since I've actually eaten an apple and I'm eating one or two a fucking day. You know the tale, an apple a day keeps the pedos away. Fucking hell. So deep into that, I nearly took my fucking teeth out. Okay. Next up is spinach. That's in there. So we've got 25 grams of spinach. Sesame oil, which I've never had before being on this meal plan. 10 grams of this. Obviously you can cook with this shit, but I like to add it on after. Because it tastes great. And also, None of the oil go, goes to waste. None of those Pyrenees. We've got hot because we ain't a bitch. Fun fact, really fun fact. You'll have loads of fun with this fact. Pyrenees and light mayonnaise, similar calories. Pyrenees is actually a lot better for you than the full fat mayonnaise. But still, I try not to overdo the fucking sauces. Even though it's the off season, you can rack up like couple hundred calories if you go overboard. It's good, you should be excited for the food you eat because if you start hating the fucking food you eat, you're not gonna have a good time. It's important to have your food palatable so you can actually get it down, but it's important to actually feel hungry for it so you can salivate because salivation is part of the digestion process. And if you're not enjoying your food, that can actually affect how you digest food, which in turn will affect how you uptake nutrition. Uh, eating for just pure function I won't really work out if you fucking hate your food. Hello and welcome back to Jack's Cooking Show. I've had a change of attire because, you know, I've had a shower. Didn't fancy putting on the same clothes. Anyway, we're back for meal four. We are going to be making some chips with 600 grams of potato already weighed out. I love potato, right? It's so versatile. <laughs> And you can just make fucking chips with them. I'm smashing chips every day. And they're very nice as well. Again, potato is a great carb source because it's easy to digest. Plenty of potassium, which adds and contributes to your electrolyte balance. Look at the fucking efficiency of which I'm chopping these potatoes, by the way. Like bang, 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 and then stack them. We chop chips, man. Just make you fries. Well, I'm having basically chips and burger for this meal but in the air fry this is what i'm saying man you need to get yourself an air fry if you have not and you're all bodybuilding time is money bitches again fry light love that shit this great by the way garlic pepper 
I don't even know if I've said that already in the video, but I'll say it again, garlic pepper. A dash of garlic pepper. Okay. So we've got some garlic pepper here, man. And I don't know if you've heard about garlic pepper, but it's really fucking cool. I'm gonna make this a peri burger. Throw some peri seasoning on there. This is also going into the air fryer. Believe it or not, crazy, right? Already sticky patty. There we go. Five minutes, we'll give it a flip, give it a shuffle. So a little bit of spinach missing now. If Thomas added more carbs into this, I'll probably just make it into a bap. That'll be delicious. And a bit of cheese as well. Mmm, one girl miss. Tell you that. Uh-huh. 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 God. The veg is just so fucking voluminous. And this is why it's fantastic for when you are dieting. Because fuck all calories in. And can be quite satiating. Got some ketchup. Reduce salt and sugar because health. Right. Banging. This is probably my favorite meal of the day, you know. And truly, well and truly banging. There's like multiple levels of banging. There's no burger test. Now 5% beef is not going to be super juicy, it's just not. So that's why the seasoning's in there. That's not bad, it's a tad overcooked for what I would like. A tad overcooked. I'd have like a medium rare type of burger over this. The seasoning really fucking makes this. The reason why I've made it into a burger, just because that's more appealing than just 5% beef. Why not just is dry and monotonous to have on a daily, so. Be inventive with your food because this is written down as potato and beef and spinach. You know, with those ingredients, we've made some, some something special here today, guys. See you for meal five. Meal five, the fifth meal of the day. We are going to be having da -da -da, chicken rice. And veg, Woo. same as before. Literally 150 grams of rice and 175 grams of chicken. And this time we're having 200 grams of stir fry veg. I'm gonna air fry my stir fry. A lot of people won't do this, but I am. It's convenient. And also stir fry has the word frying, and so does air fry. Sense. Just give it a salt. There we go. Cool. Uh, cool. One more meal to go after this. We're on the last meal now. It feels like I've been filming this for like three days. But <laughs> we're on the last meal. Six, meal six. Meal six. And meal six consists of phage. I say phage. It actually tells you how to pronounce this, which is. Fire! See, we've got an explanation mark, so you have to shout it. Fire! Some blueberries, 100 grams of that, motherfucker. We add 100 grams of blueberries. But there's a lot of uh, fruit and veg in this diet. Micronutrients, very fucking important. That's what keeps the body running optimally. When your system's running optimally, you're gonna be in an optimal position to make progress. Also health as well. If your health is fucked, you're not gonna be a good bodybuilder. Aldi dark chocolate here. And usually I'm a snobby bastard, I go for lint. But we've gone for the Aldi. It's not even Aldi, it's little. It's a little dark chocolate. Just gonna break it up, man. I'm gonna put it in the microwave and then it just makes it a little bit more ice creamy. What I'm trying to make here, if 
sort of like ice cream dessert thing, about 30 seconds. The end result is mm. there we have it. Six meals in. Full day of eating. Hope you enjoyed it guys. Let me know what videos you want to watch. If you've got any suggestions. And until next time. Love you lots. Kiss my ass.